Hey, welcome to another episode of GeekOutdoors.com. As you may or may not know, Windows 10 Creators is out. The update, this actually was officially released on April 11th, 2017. And with it has come controversy once again in the form of privacy. And also here recently, uh, the NSA hacking tools for Windows, uh, it has been basically released uh, out in the wild. But there is more to it than what the news is reporting. And so, um, you know, you do your own research on this. But there's more to this whole NS tool hack than uh, you would believe. However, with the Windows 10 Creator, uh, one of the big things that a lot of people had issues with was Windows 10 privacy. Okay, uh, whenever Windows 10 was released, it was basically all over the news that Windows 10 is collecting a whole bunch of data. Okay, now... Windows, uh, Apple's Mac OS, and even Linux operating systems, all of them collect data. Okay, so data collection is nothing new. It is just the level of data collection that is really concerning to a lot of people. And uh, that's one of the main reasons why um, I don't use Windows myself. However, the majority of the population does use Windows as their main desktop operating system. Now, there is a channel that I absolutely love. It's called Barnacles, Barnacles Nerdgasm. It's by a guy named Jerry. Jerry actually worked at Microsoft for 15 years. And he created a really, really awesome video that talks about this. He also has another video where he talks about the NSA tool. So I would highly recommend that you go check out his video and his channels because he goes into great detail on it. And since he was a Microsoft employee, he really knows how this works and not just being somebody who thinks they know how it works. With that being said, I did want to go over a few things that he mentioned in this video right here that is really, really uh, eye-opening. And at the same time, it really makes me think about the whole process of how data is being collected on a lot of our, uh, not only our operating system, but also as a whole, okay? So first and foremost, with the Windows 10 Creator update, uh, Microsoft is disclosing a lot of how they actually collect the data, what type of data. And basically for Windows 10 Creator, there's two basic levels or two levels of Windows collection that they, they do. And this is on Microsoft's official website. I will also leave these links in the description area. One of them is the basic level, okay? And right here, uh, Nerdgasm, he points out that the basic level already collects 90% of your data. Uh, through the operating system and you could come here and you could look at all the data they, that they're collecting um, yeah so uh, that's an insane amount people say that Linux is only for geeks but I really feel Windows is really for geeks because you're gonna have to spend so much time trying to figure out how to stop um, Microsoft Windows from doing certain things and um, also even if you put uh, privacy uh, plugins and stuff from the previous Windows 10 well this update will get rid of those okay so uh, that, that's another thing now the basic level like I said will collect about 90% already of the data that uh, is needed and then Windows 10 full uh, the diagnostic it will collect the remaining 10% so even the basic level uh, collects a whole bunch of your data okay now I will say one thing, okay, if you're not familiar, um, I think for a lot of general users, they're not really familiar with the fact that they do not own Windows 10. Uh, Windows 10 is giving you a license to use their software. Apple Mac OS does the same thing. And whenever they do use Windows 10, um, they are consenting legally to allow Microsoft to collect data, okay? And so what type of data? Um, Obviously, they've disclosed the ones that they want to hear, um, which is still a ton of data. Um, so you legally agree to Microsoft doing this. Okay, so you cannot fault Microsoft for collecting this data um, legally because you agree to it. Okay, so I just want to put that out there. Okay, and uh, this is also on Microsoft's official site. This is the Microsoft EULA or end user license agreement okay uh, Apple Mac OS has a similar thing now I'm gonna go over some of the key things that Barnacles discussed that is really really scary in my, in my opinion when it comes to data collection one of the big things that they collect is your IMEI ID of your phone okay if you have a phone 
um, on certain carriers, it has a unique IMEI number tied to your phone, okay, to your uh, to your SIM card and so forth. And so, with this, they can identify exactly who you are. Now, Microsoft, you know, they will say in all of this is that this is none of this is non-identifying, but it doesn't take a genius for you to figure out that they could tie a lot of this data collected to identify who you are. Okay, so uh, one of the another point that Barnacles makes is that whenever you do a uh, set up Windows 10, it wants you to log in with your Windows Live or Hotmail account. You know, for people who remember it as being Hotmail. Now you can create a local account, but it doesn't make it easy for you to do that. If anything, Microsoft really makes it uh, really, I guess, confusing for the general user to set that up, and that is by design. So you could easily see how just with that, your Microsoft Live account and IMEI, they could identify who you are. And you know, and that there's no doubt in my mind, it's easy for them to do that. And they're collecting so much other data from your operating system that you use every day, including key loggers, uh, which I know that they are still using. And if you're not familiar with the key logger is, every time you type something into your keyboard, the operating system, Windows, logs all those keystrokes okay and they say it's encrypted they say it's non-identifiable you they can't use it but let's just be real all this data that they're collecting from the basic level they they know who you are they know where you go they know what you're doing they know what programs you're using they know how much time they spend you spend on the computer Let, let's just be real they know exactly who you are and what you're doing and so I, i'm like going through this and um I, I, you have to be a super duper geek to really spend a lot of time understanding this and figuring out how to, as best as possible, um, stop some of this data collection. But to be honest, even if you are a super geek and you were able to uh, put in patches or disable things, anytime a new update comes, Microsoft can basically turn all of those things off or, or basically make them non-effective, you know, because they've already done that with this Windows 10 Creator update. So any things that you've done before, they can refresh it and put it to default, whatever defaults they want. And let me tell you, the basic version, the basic data collection, that is the default. And the default is already uh, 90%. Okay, if I'm not mistaken, I'm pretty sure the default uh, is the basic. I don't think it's the full. But then again, the full is only 10% more. So uh, you're basically already giving away all of your data. I'm just scrolling down here and Wow, I mean, even if you worked at Microsoft, you they would you would not be able to uh, figure all of this out. I mean, this is pages and pages, okay. And so, how does this relate to uh, Linux, okay? I'm, I'm I'm not a Mac user, so I can't talk too much about the data that they collect. But how does this uh, relate to Linux? Well, in Linux, it doesn't matter which operating system you use, okay data is going to be collected okay i mean it's impossible for you to use anything that doesn't collect data if you are on the internet data is being collected uh, you know and so like for example this is some cases where you know data it's required in order for your operating system to know how to best optimize okay so then it could perform at its best and it also it could perform bug checks and stuff you know if you notice when you have a crash on your operating system they want to collect the data and sometimes they already do automatically um, so then they could send this back to the people who control it or or the software will automatically has routines that knows what to do it collects all this data so it's impossible for you to have anything that doesn't collect data I'm just gonna put that out there okay but the level of data and what data is being collected, that is really what the whole point of this is about, okay? Um, Linux, at least with Linux, okay? You know that, number one, if you really wanted to get into the operating system, it is open source, the source code is freely available, so you could go in there and really learn the operating system underneath and you could find out everything that this operating system is collecting and you could go ahead and change things you know so whereas in the windows world or in the mac world you're not going to be able to do that okay so if you're a super geek you could control pretty much 
almost everything that uh, anybody the type of data that is being collected okay there's no way you're going to be able to turn off data collection because the operating system will not run without it uh, for example um, if your computer didn't collect data on how your computer is functioning it wouldn't know whether or not your computer is overheating um, whether or not uh, your CPU is running too high um, you know whether or not you should turn it on and off your fans simple things like that you know that's a hardware thing but you know simple things like that it's gonna need to collect data okay and so um but uh, once again it is the amount of data and what is being done with the data that is really concerning to me and so uh, I feel a lot more I would say safe when I'm using a Linux operating system because I think the majority of the data that is being collected uh, that is personally identifiable and can be used in ways that I don't agree with ie selling your data or uh, partnering uh, with other companies to use your data uh, to sell you more stuff or to sell other people's stuff I, you know I'm, there's probably many things that they use this personal data for uh, that um, we are not aware of at least in Linux um, for the majority of Linux operating system, that's not the case, okay? The primary things that the Linux operating system collects your data for is to run your operating system, okay? Is to optimize things, to make sure all your software is running. Things that make sense, okay? Uh, whereas in this case, it's way above and beyond that, okay? Now, I also want to give another example. I, I really feel like it no, doesn't matter what you do data is being collected even if you don't use any technology and my case in point is your brain your brain is constantly collecting data and so um, you know all your experiences everything you learn uh, since you were a kid you're constantly collecting data and so um, for anybody who thinks that uh, you can stop data collection or that data collection is not important just think about your own brain it is important for you to collect data okay and uh, I just want to put that out there because sometimes I think people think about data collection as a purely evil thing that nothing should be collected on you and it's only in the technology world that data is being collected whereas in reality data is being collected all the time by everything including your own brain and so um i know it went on a little tangent there but i just really wanted to uh wow just make a video about this because uh when i saw this um, i was going to talk about this windows creator update and privacy anyway but then when i saw barnacle's videos and now i'm actually on uh, microsoft's official sites with them quote unquote disclosing all the stuff that they're collecting geez it's absolutely amazing how much stuff is being collected okay um and so uh if you haven't already uh tried linux okay um i do have a lot of uh, linux tutorials and uh, you could check that out in the description area below and this will give you another option another operating system that you can use um, if you want an option other than Microsoft Windows or Mac okay um, I, I really love technology um, I don't have any problems with using Windows or Mac I just feel like you do need to have options and for a lot of people they feel like it's either Windows or Mac you know and that's it and so um, with all this stuff that they're collecting I think more and more people uh, especially with all the bad press that uh, Microsoft is getting here recently and I think they'll continue to get when it comes to privacy that you know that there are other options okay so if you had any thoughts on this Windows 10 creator update um, any thoughts on privacy whether that be on Windows Mac or Linux or on the internet be sure to leave that in the comments area below and uh, as always, if you did get a lot of value out of these videos, be sure to leave a like and subscribe. And if you wanted to support my channel further, you could do that at patreon.com forward slash geek outdoors. Thanks for watching. I'll see you on another episode. Thanks for checking out this episode. And as always, if you like these videos, be sure to click on the subscribe button. And for full written content, audio content and additional geek stuff head over to geekoutdoors.com and i'll see you outdoors on the very next episode